In this video we're going to look at the digital signature feature. A digital signature can be inserted on your receipts, forms and reports. You must have an electronic image of your signature to insert into ARIA Master for this feature to work and the accepted image formats are JPG or BMP. Importantly, you must check with your auditor or state legislation to ensure the use of electronic signatures is legal on the specified documents. In REI Master, you need to be logged in as a user, as we can see at the bottom left here. And to insert your digital signature, you go to Setup, Users Profiles and Portfolios, then User Options, and into the Electronic Signatures tab here. We then tick the boxes for where we want to use our electronic signatures and we need to then locate our specified image, so the electronic copy we have of our signature. We click on there, we navigate to the location, select the file and select open there. You'll see that the size of the field is 200 by 45 pixels and my image or my digital signature image is now inserted here. The little note on the left hand side here will give you an indication of how large your image is and what has happened to it in order for it to be inserted into the 200 by 45 pixel area. The location of that signature of course is showing at the below here. If you are running on a network situation, please make sure that your signature is located in a central location so it can be accessed by any of the computers you log into. Most importantly, as we mentioned at the beginning here as well, you must check with your auditor or state legislation to ensure the use of electronic signatures is legal on the specified document. Once you are happy with the size and the display of your image in the field there, click on save and close. We'll now have a look at how that image appears on your receipts and your forms. If I just go up here to do a receipt for one of our tenants here, I'll put in one here for Miss Gillard, select on there, let's do a rent receipt for her. We'll say yes to have a look at the receipt of course and you'll see at the bottom there we have a signature showing on the receipt itself and if I scroll down to look at the duplicate copy as well again we have a copy of our signature showing in the field there. Close out of there if we have a look now at the forms that are available we'll just have a look at an inspection notice. If I go in here to have a look at my entry notice that I'm going to merge to for my inspection. The form that's created will now have again a signature at the bottom of the screen showing here. The last form of course that will have a image showing on it of your signature will be your form 11. We'll have a look at those ones under the arrears area here. Again, this particular form, if we scroll to the bottom, will have a copy of my signature showing at the bottom of the screen there. The report that will have a signature generated on it is one of the sales reports if you're utilising the sales module. So in this video, we've looked at inserting a digital signature onto our receipts, forms and reports. Please again make sure that you check with your auditor or your state legislation of course to ensure that these, doc these signatures are legal on the specified documents.